So friction pa rin. Okay, so ito yung ano. Ito yung itsura niya. So let me share. So, eh, ano to eh, similar, yung itsura niya para siyang yung Spider-Man, yung Spider-Man problem. Kasi may isang scene sa isang Spider-Man movie na nasa harap siya ng isang train. Tapos yung train nag-accelerate. So, dito, may dalawang, may dalawang objects. Yung isa, So, for one reason or another, this is being propelled. Oh, lahat ganun siya, diba? So, ito yung ano. So, ito, yung mass niya ay M. Yung coefficient of static friction at yung coefficient of kinetic friction ay 0.1 and 0.09 respectively. So, yung coefficient of static friction friction at kinetic friction, dependent yan sa, di ba, kung ano yung dalawang surfaces contact. So, pag magkaiba yung surfaces, syempre, iba yung value. Here, yung given, ganito, UK is 0.09, US is 0.1. Tapos, the whole thing is supposed to be accelerating. So, everything is accelerating at some acceleration. Ngayon, ang tanong, ganito, So, what is the normal force on M and then uh, What is the minimum acceleration for the box M to remain for the box M not to slide downwards. Yeah. Yeah. I, iyan ako muna. Screenshot ko muna sa, na mas maganda. Tapos send ko siya. Eh, may lamuan. May ba? Yeah. So, ito yung ano. Ito yung screenshot. May lamuan. Okay mo. Okay. So, ano yan eh? So, yan na muna. Kasi iba yung situations eh. Tapos papakaikulit ko yung what's the frictional force kapag A is greater than that threshold value and what is the frictional force when A is acceleration is forward. Ibang situation yan kapag backward. Kapag negative acceleration. Doon, guaranteed, magsaslide yan. Mm. So... Actually, yan, ang ano pa nga eh, yung, depende sa, ano yan eh, kung depende sa mga velocities nila, hindi slide yan kapag acceleration is negative. Ayun. So, I think papadescribe ko rin sa'yo later yung, yung negative acceleration case. Pero ito muna. So, 
хлеба. Recently, may ano daw eh, may mga ginagawang maintenance na ano eh. So, kailangan ko i-check. Hmm. Hanggang ah, No. Mm. Yeah, uh, we will start long on the router. So that's when we will join on. Yeah. Okay, so tama, no? your normal force is that direction. Friction is going to be that way. Okay, see. Anyway, this the boot kung natin ng router namin. Point one. No more. Oh, hey, so now they can have so parang so yun nga po yung sa Spider-Man yung nakagano'n to nga po siya. 
Parang ganun mo siya. Mm-hmm. Ah, so parang, what's the, ma- what's the, para, so, what's the minimum acceleration para, kumaga parang hindi po siya mahulog. Ah, okay. So, therefore, dapat may, Oo. Oh. Oh. Teka. Uh, yung, F, yung friction, Ano ba? So, mm, static. Eh, static friction yung going up. up. Ano yung downward force? Wait. So free body diagram natin hindi tayo concerned sa uh, bakit may force on big on big M from small M on the free body diagram of small mass of the small mass. So Ah, so, normal force pala to. Ayun. Okay. So So anong nag-accelerate forward? ng object what force no. what force what table ko lang po na ito pong big M is moving forward accelerating forward so so mm-hmm. pareho sila so assumption so ano yung ano ba yung ano dyan so the, uh, big M is pushing the small the small box forward Bubble. So, any force from big M acting on small M? Mm, the normal force? Yeah, double. Mm-hmm. Yan yan. Ah, okay. So, kung ganun. Ah, by... Meron pong given mass for small m and big m po? Hindi. Wala muna. So, gusto lang natin ay expressions. Tapos, tapos mamaya may inequalities kang isi-set up. Okay, so Fn is equal to Ma. Ngayon, paano naman yung forces along the vertical? Should be equal to zero. So, so dapat equal to zero kapag hindi pag ano pag kung hindi sa slide so ang assumption natin ngayon hindi nagsa slide ngayon ano ba yung ano yung inequality na dapat na i-satisfy ng f ng static friction dapat fs max b uh yung fs max So what is FS max?
FS Max. Yung nga po, uh, yung Mu S times FN. So that is... Ay, what happened? FS Max be less than... Okay. Ngayon, from Newton's second law, Fs is equal to what? Fs is equal to mg. Mm -hmm. So, uh, from that, mg must be less than... Okay, mg must be less than... Okay, or oh, yun. Yun na po. or uh, the acceleration should be greater than uh, So basically, yun na lang po. Yung pagdun yung generalization. The acceleration must be greater than yung fraction of the gravitational acceleration over yung ano na po yung uh, friction. Okay, so for that value, ano yung minimum acceleration? So that's uh, that's ten times yung acceleration due to gravity, no? Ang alam ko fighter pi yung mga tao or yung mga fighter pilots, pwedeng wag uh, tagal kimatayin kung ang acceleration ay sixteen times. Eh. So may reasonable pa, ba? Na okay. you can experience this. May rides, actually may rides na pinapa experience yan yung ganyan. Na yung acceleration is going to be greater than g over mu s. So, Iba nga lang yung situation. So same same principle pero kasi oh, pakita ko sa inyo na yung issue wala nun. So, so po share po, ko lang yun. Yung, eh, yung screen eh, ko ulit. Pala, TNG pala po ito yung mga ano po yung mga fighter pilot nga po yung testing na pag mga mga AG pala medyo nag ano na po sila yung tawag yung na guzi na po yung mga fighter pilots at mga AG pa lang. So, I mean, this must be moving very fast. <clears throat> Remember, it's not fast. It's large acceleration. No mo. Kasi iba yung the fast would be speed eh. So, importante na keep the distinction Kasi confusing kapag ginagamit mo yung same language or same words to refer to two different things. Okay, so ito yun o. Oh. Ito yung itsura nung may, may ride na. So ang itsura naman nung, ano, nung, nung ride ganito. Merong cylinder. na nag-rotate. Tapos, may tao na uh, leaning against the wall. Ngayon, the cylinder is rotating with some angular speed omega. Tapos, yung coefficient of static friction is, halimbawa, gamitin uh, na natin, Point, point 0.2 para naman mas mataas yung ano mas mababa yung kailangan ngayon <clears throat> yung idea ganito yung floor so may floor yung cylinder mag-rotate at constant speed so first magbagal and then bibilis anong nangyayari kapag ganyan if you're inside that cylinder Diba ang pakiramdam mo, you're going to feel na, you're going to feel thrown out 
Para ano po? To the para, sides of the cylinder. So, centrifugal ano po, yung tawag niya parang pseudo force, centrifugal pseudo pseudo force. Ah, uh, di ba? May pseudo forces ka mararamdaman na okay. it's as if you're you're being pushed outside, di ba? Ngayon, ang magiging ang question, ang nangyayari sa ride na to, eventually darating siya sa isang speed na steady state. Tapos yung floor biglang bababa. Bobo. So, ang itsura niyan, so umiikot. Yan, copy natin para hindi na para hindi na kasing, kasing effort. So, ang mangyayari, let's kumiikot na siya at critical speed. Tapos, yung floor, uurong or malalaglag. na ganyan. Grabe po yan. Hindi kaya maanang pagkabigla lang. Tapos yung... Delikado siya syempre pag nag-stop. Okay. So, ibababa lang yung floor. Tapos yung mga tao stuck na umiikot na na dun sa dun sa, 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 sa sa walls ng cylinder. After that, babalik, babalik uli yung floor paakyat. Tapos ang babagal na uli and then mag-stop. Okay, so so ang idea dito, uniform circular motion. So ang tanong, what is the minimum speed of rotation para para hindi lumulaglag yung yung nakasakay sa ride na to? So, nga po, yung G over 0.2. Okay, so... So, so that's like mga... Uh, okay, so first, ano yung normal force dito? Normal force? So, the uh, normal force is still... So, same analysis. Uh, so, saan ang gagaling yung normal force? Inside naman po siya. So, pag ganun na po, towards the center na po yung... Ah, oh, wait. Yes, towards the center po yung normal force. Okay. Tama. Okay, so Fn is towards the center. So, yun nga po, yung friction pataas sa kayong bababa na ano po. Uh, ano yung acceleration in terms of speed? Okay, tapos bigyan natin yung radius. Radius. Okay. Radius. Radius. Okay, so. Alam natin yung radius. Paano ba yung yung radius dun sa speed so sorry, paano related yung acceleration, radius at speed so A is equal to so acceleration is towards the center, di ba? so it's moving, so yung ano pag, pag ito yung top view Ito yung radius. The speed is here. So, yung acceleration ay V square over R. Okay, so, analyze lang. What are the forces acting on that person? May normal force to pointing towards the center. Yung friction, anong direction? Um, pataas po yung friction tapos uh, mababa yung gravitation. Ah. So, free by the diagram looks like no, ito, towards the center, yung normal force. Tapos, ito yung mg. Tapos, ito yung static friction. So, ano yung minimum so, set up an expression for the minimum speed in terms of V. Uh, in terms of R at saka yung coefficient of static friction and G. So, ang gusto, kasi kung ikaw yung designer, gusto natin mo naman, gano'ng kalaki ba yung radius dapat? Tapos, gan, an, anong speed? Hmm. 
So, para sila deleted. Mm-hmm. So, hindi siya, ano, wala kang expression dito for V and R separately. Ang gusto lang natin malaman ay, using yung restrictions on static friction, how is V squared over R? Ano yung, so, how is V squared over R related to um, U, S, and G kapag hindi siya nagsaslide? Anong inequality yung kailangan i-satisfy? Uh, para hindi po siya mag-slide, dapat Fs must be at least equal to Mg. So, Ay, yes. So, okay. Fs is equal to Mg. Hindi, dapat equal sila. Tapos, what else? Fs must be greater okay. than, must be less than? Must be less than... Fs must be less than yung Fx max mo. Yung maximum friction. Ano ba yung maximum friction? Uh, mu S of uh, times ano po? Yung normal force. Okay. Normal force is ito. What's the normal force? Normal so MA force. Is M equal to F, uh, normal force po. Okay, so M is equal to F is equal to the normal force. So, ano inequality na kailangan, kailangan na yung mas setup? Kaya, iuulong natin to. So, if Fn is MA, Fs must be less than Okay, so Fs must be less than, uh, so mu S, Fn, Fs is equal to Mg, kung static equilibrium, kung, sta- kung walang sliding, tapos Fn is equal to Ma, pero for uniform circular motion, ano yung A? But it's going to be V squared over R. So, yung condition na makukuha natin, static friction must be less than mu s times m v square over r. And then, if we use a condition, static friction is equal to mg, we'll get or g must be less than us v square over r and then depending sa any design constraints for example gusto mong malaki gusto mong malaking lay, kung gusto mong palakihin yung pal, paliitin yung rotational speed ano dapat ang mag-adjust Actually, uh, equal. Dapat, kasi... Kasi yan yung... Ah! So, kung yung radi... G is less So, than... as the radius increases... The radius increases... The uh, speed needed... Lumiliit po yung... Ah, wait mo. So, kung radius increase, dapat uh, the speed needed increases... Ah, no, it decrease. Ah, wait. Radius decreases, so dapat tatas yung product nun. The speed needed decreases. Ah, so, okay. So, yun nga po yung parang umiikot po kayo nakaganan, verse ng ganito. Yung mga ano po sa figure skating. Yeah, so, uh, so, so, kailangan, so, tingnan natin, no? So, GR, must be less than or equal to mu s v square. Or, um, so ito, uh, normal force is mv squared over r, no? So gr over mu s is less than or equal to v square. Or, v should be greater than or equal to gr over mu s square 
Teka. So, maximum static friction. So, Fs is equal to mg. So, okay, tama, no? Us mv square over r. G must be less than Us v squared over r. Gr over mu s. Okay. So, ito yung condition. Speed must be greater than this. So, kapag lumalaki yung radius, yung speed lumalaki. Yung acceleration, actually, yung ano yun ay, yung human, yung ano, teka, acceleration is v squared over r, di ba? So, for a comfortable ride, let's say gusto natin na ang acceleration ay ayun na, hindi niya kailangan, meron talaga ano eh, hindi pa talaga magagawa yan ng so for this to work, or for the ride to be, yung acceleration is V square over R. So, may fundamental limitations tayo on the acceleration. Dapat Kung gusto nating maging mas komportable yung ride, di ba? Kailangan nating mas mababang acceleration. Ah, so parang less G po. Para maging mas mababa yung acceleration, so ang kailangan nating ang kailangan nating gawin ibabalik din po yung ano. Ay. May labo. So, kung may, ano pala? Hindi na pwede i-adjust yung, yung acceleration kasi may minimum, di ba? Labo. So, kung yung V... So, if you want... Um, so, kung gusto natin na mas maliit yung minimum acceleration, what can what should we adjust? Yung... May labo. So, yung A pala. Let's say po yun, yun po yung A nga doon. So, A. Kung buma, gusto nang ibaba... Oh, so, ito. Ito. Uh, gusto natin na... Minimize mo. Kung gusto natin paubahin yung V square over R, ano yung kailangan natin baguhin dun sa ano? Sa, um, ano, yung kailangan, ano yung pwede natin i-adjust? Uh, yung friction mo. Make it more... Uh, make it more... Uh, like put something. Oh. Parang ano. So, so, gusto natin ng mas mataas na coefficient of static friction. Meron so, po, po bong, sa mga meron... designs na ganyan, ayaw natin na maging na magkaroon ng malubricate yung walls. Kasi pag ganyan, magsaslide ka. Mabo. Ayun. Okay. So, yun yung sa ano, no? So, pansin mo, no? It's the same problem, pero circular motion na. Diba? Actually, yung mga ganyan, yung mga accelerating systems, may isang ano, okay, may isang, naalala ko, no? May isa pang pro may ano eh. Yung, okay, ito naman. Next problem. May inclined plane. May mass M. Tapos, ang coefficient of static friction, okay, we'll just use those values. 0.1, mu k is equal to 0.09. Ito yung theta. Assume that initially the mass is at rest. Ngayon, Analyze yung mga cases. If theta, assuming m is the initial acceleration and the initial velocity is zero, examine yung mga cases for theta between zero and 90 degrees. So, may case dyan na. So, so may case ka, so may mga cases dito na certain angles hindi nagsaslide. Once may critical angle na ma-reach, magsaslide na siya. So, ano yung critical angle na yun? Mm. So, parang yung... Tapos, yung... when theta is greater than that critical angle. Oh, ano, so, so, sa situations na yan, gusto kong i-analyze mo. Ano ba yung first, ano ano yung mga forces? What's the FS? What's the normal force? And then, uh, calculate mo rin yung mu, K, yung mu S and F. Ano 
ano po, tawag doon, uh, so kumaga po na, yung may egg po, tapos sa, uh, it tilt siya ng konti. So ano yung minimum, yung kumaga yung angle po na before it starts to slide. Hmm. So yung free body diagram nga po, so normal form. Okay, so... So, yeah, i, i, i ano ko lang ha? So, what is the what are the forces? Tapos, uh, ano yung titig, ano yung may tatlong regimes? So, uh, theta less than theta critical, theta equal to theta critical, and then theta greater than theta critical. So, in critical value. So theta critical is the angle. Ah, so kailangan natin yung theta critical. So theta critical is the angle at which the block will start to slide. Okay, screenshot ko lang para pwede mong yun, no? Pwede mo i-paste dyan. So, may tatlong cases. So, set up those expressions. Ito. Okay, so stop share. So, nasend ko na. So, stop sharing na ako ulit. So, ngayon, uh, situation. so there's a triangle there's a triangle triangle so uh, oh no forgot So, not a force. A new normal force. friction is this way. Yeah, nagyan ko lang ng FS or FK. Kasi pag theta greater than theta critical, di ba, yung friction magiging kinetic na. So forces on the block. Wait a So we're going to put the roller DT at the top. How do you rotate this? What? Oh, I don't know. Yung white square block. Sa gilid. Mag-rotate pa dyan. Scale siya eh. Teka. Oo, oh, okay. Yun. Uh -huh. So yung red, no? Yung mo. O nga yan. Ay, oh no.
on this. So, ang, ang assumption natin ngayon muna ay, ay static equilibrium. No mo. So. Tapos mm -hmm. mm -hmm. on. Mm. So, Would it make more sense if you put it like this? If you put it like this, it's just the axis. Then this is just the MG. Lang yung Actually, the axis that you can use... You can use the axis that you can use the x-axis parallel to the plane. That's nice. Sa, we're parallel sa inclined plane. Tapos, upwards yung positive direction. Yan yung best na ano dyan eh. Yun lang, kailangan mo i-decompose yung mg into x and y components. Hindi ba po kailangan din i-decompose kung ito po yung x, y? Ito naman po, hindi di-decompose. Hindi. Diyan kasi along y at along x na yung normal force at yung static friction. So, hindi na kailangan na hindi na kailangan i-decompose into force along y, force along x kasi yan yung natural na coordinate system para sa dalawang yan. So, mangyari, ano yung coordinates ng mg? Uh, ano yung components ng mg along x? Ano yung components ng mg along y? Ito is theta. So, ano daw? Mg. Mg cosine. Okay. Teka, nasa yung 90 degrees. Sa triangle mo, ano yung... Nasa yung 90 degree angle? Yan, okay. Okay. Okay, so cosine, and then this one is and this is okay, sine cosine. Yeah. Mega, why? Ah. Let's see. So, yung components ay mg cosine theta, mg sine theta. Okay. So, assuming static equilibrium, ano yung conditions? Oh, I can do it. Okay. So... Be forced to try. Yan. Okay, yan. Magagalaw mo ni Yan. Aha. Yes. So, ito yung daw. Ay. Ito na mo. Ay, okay na. So, conditions for X. So, Newton's second law. So static equilibrium 
it gives us zero equals Kailan daw po yung angle where it, where, where, where fs becomes fs max. Actually, no, where okay. is it? So first, fs is equal to what? What can we get from that? Tapos, fn is equal to what? Okay, ngayon, ano yung, ano yung requirement for static friction? Fs must be less than or equal to. Uh, less than or equal to. Okay, so from that condition, on ano yung makukuha mo? Okay. So, tangent theta. Theta critical. Use a different table para dyan, theta critical. Kasi pinili mo na yung equal sign eh. So tangent inverse of mu s. Ayun, so kung baga kung may... Okay, so... Para mag ano siya, yun yung... So kung ano... So if, for example, by compute lang, if mu s is 0.1, ano yung, tan, ano yung value ng critical angle? Let's check po yung ano, coefficient of static friction street. <laughs> So that's almost a ah, weight, the radius mode, no wonder. Degree. So that's uh, mga 5.7 degrees. Eh, kung ano naman po. Okay. Okay. Ngayon, eto yung ano, yung sinabi dito na, chinek ko kasi yung, yung ano eh, sa Google kung ano yung max, yung coefficient of static friction between rubber and normal street pavement. It's 0.90. So, if mu s is equal to 0.9, ano yung critical angle? Wait, ilan mo? Ah, okay nga. So, uh, 42 point. Actually, pag 42 na yan, di ba? Hindi na, lagpas na siya sa critical angle eh. Pero, pero yun yung ano eh. Yun yung binibigay ng rounding off eh. Ano naman mag- Hindi, tama. Ayan. Ah, on, on rounding off. Talaga, dapat yun yun eh. Pero kung ano, Kung, street, kung ikaw yung street designer at gusto mo makapag-park yung mga tao, Talasay po sa incline. Dapat, anong ang... So, yung incline should be less than that. that Maka even less than that. Kasi kapag, for example, ano mangyayari kapag... Ano mangyayari kapag yung angle ay 43 degrees? Tapos, sinubuha mo magparada ng kotse? Kung mga 40 degrees po? Ano yun? Kaya, 
yung point 90 kasi, yan yung coefficient of static friction between rubber, which is rubber, which is namo. Yung mga gulong. Sabi po kayo. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so ano mangyayari kapag greater than 42 degrees yung angle? Uh, mag, mag start, start to the, the tires will start to roll kasi greater than yung ano na po. And then, remember, hindi siya roll. Oh, mag, kung, kung naka-parking brake ka, mag-skid po siya. Hindi, mag-skid downwards yan. So, yung inclines for pag ganyan, dapat less than 42 degrees. Kaya wala ka nakikita na, ano, na roads na ganyan, ganyan ng incline eh. Tsaka na bukal, ano, ang babala. Roads o oh, yung usual na ano. So, gano'n nga po, tapos may kotse. Uh, ano yan? Ako may gano'n ito nga po, tapos may kotse. Uh, pero, let's say hmm. po, katagal, it's a little higher than yung Theta critical. Sabihin, the car cannot function anymore. Hindi na po siya makakakakyat. Oo. Hindi nga siya makakakakyat. Mm -hmm. uh, in, so, in the first place. So, let's say, Or, you... let's say, tinry mong ilang kapag siya dyan, pag sa slide siya. Okay. For example, yung mga ano, di ba alam mo yung mga, may mga helicopters ang ginagawa ay nagbibit-bit sa mga, ng, pwede sa magbit-bit ng mga call. Labo. Kasi isang incline yung kotse. So hindi pwede, hindi pa rin pwede, di ba? Mag-aano yan eh. Baba, pa after release, magsaslide. Nga po. Ngayon, eto. So yan yung ano ha, pag wet, paano ka pag wet, pag wet tire, pag wet street? Yun nga po, inisip mo nga po kung let's say yung mga designers were too lazy tapos medyo naka-incline. It's just slightly below yung <coughs> tapos na umulan tapos na nag-iba yung ano na po yung, yung static friction coefficient. So bigla lang magugulong na po yung mga yung mga magana na po yung mga kotse na. Kung umulan po na po. Oh, mag sila. Hmm. Actually yung ano yung isang coefficient of static friction is 0.4. What? Baba po na. Pag dry roads, yung binibigay yung binibigay ng isang ng isang Google link na nakita ko, 0.7 for dry roads, hindi 0.9. Tapos 0.4 for wet. Mm. Ano ba yan? So bigla lang may drastic. Okay. So ito yung next question. Oh, may, may change in coefficient of static friction kapag ganyan. Okay, so since we, we'll we use these figures, 0.7 for dry road and 0.4 for wet, just for yung mga, exam, yung mga gagawin natin examples. Ngayon, tingnan natin yung ano. So when F, when theta, when theta is less than theta critical, what's Fs? FS is yung maximum na nabo. So for example, binigay sa, di ba theta critical is 42? Nabo. Kapag ang theta ay 10 degrees, what's FS? Ah. Uh, so, pwede pa kayo sulat. If when theta equals 10 degrees, FS is equal to, please compute. The, 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 what again? So, the, the force of static friction is? For ano pong mu s. Okay. Hindi, iwan mo lang yung m as, as m. Ano ba yung mg? O, sin. Plus mg. Wait. Teka. Teka. Wait. 
less than a critical angle yan, di ba? Yung, yung US, yung, yung US MG ko sa yung tita, hindi siya yung static friction. Yan yung maximum possible. So, dapat must so ano yung tamang value? It must be the forward force. So, for example, when... So let's give some let's give a value 1000 kilograms for the mass of the car 1000 1000 what 1000 that's one mga 1000 mo ah uh-huh. 1000 lang bakit ganyan Okay. So, mga ano po ito, lang dyan? 1.7. That's... 17. 1.7 times 10 to the 10 cube. Or kilonewtons. Ngayon, an- ano, yung, ano yung value for that for that coefficient of static friction? Ano yung mu k and f? Yung ano po, kinetic, ano, kinetic maximum. Ah, sorry, mu s and f pala. What's mu s and f there for theta? Ano po yung mu s? Ah. Yung ko yung, teka, Theta is equals 10 degrees, di ba? So, may calculate ng F ng mu S times normal force. So, when theta is 10 degrees, ano po yung, ano po mu yung S value? times oh. mg cosine theta. Wala po point value. 0.1. Assume Ay. na natin point 0.1 muna. Point 0.1. Kasi, ah, teka. Theta critical is 5.7 o point 0.9 pala. Let's use point 0.9. Parang may, may, may freedom tayo for that. So this is... So that's about 8.7 kilonewtons. Okay, so 8.7 kilonewtons. So yung, yung actual frictional force is 1.7 kilonewtons which is below yung threshold for sliding. Kasi yung 8.7 kilonewtons gives you the threshold for sliding. Tabo. Ano yan eh? Kasi what if, for example, binigay sa'yo. So, what if may nagtutulak? Kailan siya magsaslide? Ah, ayun. That's something na, ano, na pwede, ko, na pwede, pwede natin itanong. Okay, so, We'll look at that case later. Yung next, ganito. So, what if theta is greater than the critical value? Assume pa rin na 0.9 yung mu s. Ah, sorry. Na, yeah. 0.9 yung mu s. Actually, nagtataka ko bakit tangent inverse of 0.1 is 5.7. Kaya, tangent inverse of 0.1. Tama yan. Tama. Sige. So, point nine nga. So, what if theta is greater than 42, 42, deg- 42 degrees? Anong, anong, ngayon yung, anong value ng friction? Value ng friction pag ano mo? 42 degrees? Oo. Oh, when theta equals 40, 45 degrees. Para talaga ano po? Pa, lagpas na tayo sa ano sa critical va- critical angle. Ngayon, ang assumption natin dito since ang critical angle is 42 m- mu s is 0.9. Tapos yung mu Teka. 
paglagpas ka na sa critical angle, wala nang wala nang static friction. Ah. Ano yung dapat na expression for the friction? Friction is equal to Ah. Uh, UK. UK na pala. Times NF. So F is equal to UK times NF. Wala tayong binigay na value for UK eh, di ba? Okay. Pero usually it's around, it's near the value of mu S. So, so let's assume na mu K equals M, eh, mu, mu S. Ano po yung normal so, na ano, yung the kinetic friction is usually lower than the, ano po, than the static friction or higher ba po? Oo. Uh, usually lower yan. Ah, uh, sige po. So, kung let's say, kung equal lang sila for some reason. Hmm. Nasa prob- is a state naman yan sa problem sa Young and Friedman eh. Kung ano po, so kung technically kasi so less units, you, you, you somehow measure the friction maybe by using ano po, baka spring balance or something. It's possible po to identify the material based on its friction, siguro. Yung coefficient na mo. Hmm, tingin ko, baka hindi. Hmm. Mga ano po, mga 1.5. Okay. Okay. So, ano yan eh? So, pagka greater than the critical angle, kinetic friction na. Ngayon, kung may initial velocity, kinetic friction muna yan. And then, kapag nag-zero na yung velocity, static friction na siya. So, may mga cases na dynamic yung problem na sa slide like, and then like, magsa stop uh, so far it, it it switches from kinetic to static mo hmm. tapos may mga problems naman na nagbabago yung coefficient of friction on the surface ano pala po pag let's say yung talagang yung infinite uh, and before before the body stops so, is that still kinetic friction or can we treat it as static friction? Yung mga infinitesimally small time before yung ano po, it, it, nalaga mag-zero na yung velocity na po. Nag-iba po po yung... Actually, tingin ko irrelevant na. Baka irrelevant na pag infinitesimally. Pero, uh, since there's still a small difference, kinetic pa rin yan. So, parang nag-iba po siya pag yung mga very, very small uh velocities parang nag-iba na yung kinetic co- yung coefficient before something tumataas ba or... uh, actually hindi ko alam kung kung effect ng kumi effect yung speed sa inaassume natin dito walang effect yung speed on kine- on the coefficient of kinetic friction eh it's just okay. some constant Okay, tiya. So, buksan na natin yung Young and Friedman para makapaghanap tayo ng, para magsimula tayo sa problem soon. Paano pala po nag, may, may, may measure po yung... Ano yan eh? How do you measure friction? Meron ba po siyang bar special meter? Ah, Incl- yung, actually, yung inclined plane. So, may, yung surface ini-incline mo, tapos may object ka nakapatong dun. Yun, that's how you measure yung coefficient of static friction. Ah, yun na pala. Hanapin mo yung critical angle. Di ba, tingnan mo yung ano? Di ba? Tingnan mo yung expression, balik tayo sa taas. US is equal to, pag, is equal to, the can be related to the critical angle. Yung tangent mo mo. Ayun. Di ba? Ayan. So, okay. gabi mo, inclined plane, iba-ibahin mo yung angles hanggang mahalap yung critical angle. And then, tangent theta. Yung na-measure mo na yung mu s. Okay. Yung mu k, I think mas mahirap i-measure yun kasi kailangan nagsaslide na eh. So, baka dynamic problem siya na you let something slide, measure may acceleration, tapos nun from there, you work backwards to get 
yung coefficient of kinetic friction. Kaya, buksan ko muna yung Young and Friedman. Kasi, ah, sorry, Young and Friedman. Yung Resty Calde and Walker. Kasi, may sapat na tayong we've already done enough para makapag-solve ng problems on friction. So, let's, let's do some of the basic problems first. Uh, Young and Friedman, David Wesley, Kyle D. Walker. Where are you? Ayun. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, when the ties. Ano, sa page 140 ng PDF. Uh, 166 pala. 166. Tapos, yung problem number one. Friction. Kahit mo pala yung uh, the flying circles of physics. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, ba? floor of a railroad track or blah 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 so constant acceleration to no and then and oh yeah this is nice so free by diagram and I try to screenshot it again so, brief radi diagram. Okay, so there is a. There's the car. Parang yung sa tow truck mo mo. Yung parang naka flat lang. Hmm. And there are boxes. Oh, wait, it's only one box. Speed of motion. No. Can the constant acceleration? So, any acceleration dito? Pagganan. Tingnan mo yung situation. The train is initially moving. Tapos magsa stop siya. Ayo nating mag slide yung yung mga crates. Mm -hmm. So, yun yung acceleration. Ngayon, sige, acceleration is back, is to the left, di ba? Okay, ngayon, ano dapat yung, sige, sige, tingnan mo ulit yung free body diagram mo. Double. 
distance. We have to start, which is okay. So And then your acceleration is to the left, no? So you see Newton's second law. Ano marerelate yung what can you get from your free from your free free from your free body diagram? Abo, uh, mga from your second law. So if I set up your Newton's laws, what will it give you? So Fn is equal to so Fn minus Mg is equal to zero and wait. Dapat static friction should be and oh, wait, so dapat there must be a force going left. Oh, <laughs> Oh no. And ano ba yung nag-exert ng force dun sa crate? The floor. Wait, the floor. There's, no there's no more. There's no more force. If it should be uh, Ano nga uli yung uh, ano yung ka third law pair ng static friction? Third law pair of static friction. Yung... Okay. So static friction is the force from what to what? The floor. So... So static friction is the force from the floor acting on the crate parallel to the, to the floor. So there's... there the yung third law na po so, Another floor from the from the the force from the floor so, also in the horizontal oh, yes. direction. So force from the up, from the from the plate to the floor of the of the of the flat car. Okay. And are there any other forces acting horizontally? Dipo, pero yung acceleration is going yung Floor down. lang naman yung pwede, di ba? Oo. Mm -hmm. But the acceleration is going to the left. So there must be something wrong. There is a... There's some sort of force. Okay, so there's a... Since the acceler it's accelerating that way, so there's, there's an MA here. Ito yung, ito yung boom force na po dapat eh. Teka. Wala na, wala na may identify na cause ng force na to going to the left. Sige boss, Kung dapat yung diagram mo. Yun lang mo. Ay, negative MA. Okay, so what does that say about FS? Hmm. Nung, binu about... nung sinulat mo free by diagram mo, in assume mo na FS is going to the right. Tapos, pag kinumpute mo naman using Newton's second law, lumalabas na negative yung FS mo. Hindi naman po siya negative kasi yung acceleration is negative. Pag gano'n naman po yung acceleration. So, in the end... Teka, teka. 
sulat mo in ano in compo in unit vector notation unit vector notation so accel so acceleration is acceleration but uh, negative g so a vector is equal to negative a i hat kasi horizontal yan di ba ngayon yung f yung friction fs vector is equal to And then, you can, kasi anong pa siya, di ba? So, using yung ginamit mo, that's Fs plus or minus. Uh, kasi, going that way. So, from your diagram, in assume mo na Fs is going to the right. Namo. So, dapat, para consistent, Fs should be positive. Ngayon, pag ginamit mo naman yung Newton's second law, in, in unit vector notation, Ma, unit vector notation, Ma vector equals Fs vector. Blah, blah, blah. A vector, yan. Ngayon, plug in mo ngayon yung, ano, yung expressions in terms of unit vectors. Unit vectors, okay, so that is... Okay, so yan yung tamang sign. Okay, so, Kung tinanggal mo yung unit vectors, Fs equals... Ganyan ito yung ano. Pag-isipan mo yung ano. What is slowing the object down? What is slowing... What's slowing the crate down? The... Ah, the crate down mo? So, dito. So, ano yung nagsaslow down dun sa crate na nakapatong uh, crate. Sa, sa floor? The friction dapat. Oh, so friction is pushing in what direction? In the opposite direction is the acceleration. So, oh wait. Teka, okay, yeah. Bakit the opposite direction? Ang apo na. So, it's slowing it down. The crate is moving forward. So, the the friction must be pu it's pushing backwards. Okay. Backwards. So, yung direction of friction mo is uh, apparently false. Yan yung binibigay ng ano eh, yung equations mo, yung Fs equals negative Ma. Nakita ko, pinipilit, <coughs> pinipilit ka na negative yung Fs eh. Para maging consistent. I did not, I did not, <coughs> I did not, I did not, no, nakita ko na. So, pag... Why is it negative? Something must be wrong. Uh, so, yung fact na nag-negative yung kinumpit mo, it's just a sign that the actual direction you assume is wrong. It should be in the opposite okay. direction. It's a... Uh... So, <clears throat> ano yan eh? So, F, so, the static friction is MA. Ngayon, ano yung... So, ano yung maximum acceleration na pwedeng mangyari para hindi mag-slide? How can we get that? Kasi, di ba, kapag mali siya acceleration, hindi siya mag-slide. Pero pag masyadong malaki, as you also know from personal experience, nag-slide ka. So, nga po. So, kung ganun, therefore... Di ba, yung pag may kotse, tapos biglang break? Tamo. So, big, big break, po, break po. Yung pag-ganan yung acceleration. 
Gagalan po kayo. So, mm-hmm. Ano yun eh? Sige. Anyway, pag-usapan din natin yung forces on on you when you're inside the car kapag nag-break. Mm. Okay, so FS equals MA. Ngayon, ano yung maximum value ng FS na kayang isupply ng floor? Maximum value of FX. Yung ano na po yun, FX max. So this is... Oh, wait. Okay. So, let's compute new SMG. Anong, anong nakukuha natin? Actually, wal, tinan mo, walang binigay na mass, di ba? So, so anong inequality na pwede natin i-set up? That means... mag new page ka na kaya para may more space. More space. Uulong mo, iulong mo na lang downwards. Okay, so from there, any uh, more restriction on, on the acceleration? MA must. That was FS is less than or equal to, diba? So, I think FS is equal to ano, but it's MA. So, substitute. So, therefore, oh, okay, so there's no... That was less than or equal to. So, A, the magnitude ng A must be less than or equal to. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then, so, if the magnitude of A is less than or equal to mu SG, ano yung maximum deceleration na pwede? So, 0.25 times 9.8. So, yan yung, yan yung acceleration. Na, yan yung largest, largest magnitude of the acceleration. So, assume natin naka-maximum acceleration, naka-maximum magnitude na siya. Kasi yun yung ano eh. Gusto natin i-stop yung creep. I-stop yung train na hindi nagsaslide yung creep. So, magbe-break. Pag nag-break ka, yung depende sa, ano yung, kung, sa application breaks yung acceleration. So, we want maximum acceleration of a shortest stopping distance. So A max must be Ayun. So A max two point forty five meters per second square. Ngayon. So your acceleration mismo A is equal to negative two point forty five I hat. Kasi going to the left, then yung magnitude. Okay, now that we know the magnitude of the acceleration, ano yung stopping distance? We're starting from 45 kilometers per hour.
So you want to know and then you know that. So you earlier the whole young V squared, so therefore Nipala. Yeah, I know units we ng speed. Unit wala speed. Kilometers per hour. <gasps> almost, almost. Alam alam ko sa mo sa the time for that. Okay, so that's uh that's that uh, thirteen. Okay. Five sixty nine over two. Yeah, it's a uh, thirty six meter and a more. I think I'm going to use a twelve point five per speed. So, because it's intermediate calculation, yung V. So, dapat wag kamo na maground off to two sig fig. Three sig fig ang gamitin mo. So yung square nyan po is one fifty six. Wow, so it's a huge difference. Para dyan yung different. Around thirty-two. So, Jen, round off here to two sig fig. So, mga ano po na mga kung if if you rounded earlier, so four meters yung ano po. Hmm. So one sig. Kaya ano yun? Kaya para mo maintain at kaya one sig fig lang yung nakalculate mo kasi naground off ka too early. So intermediate calculations, dapat may longer, more digits ka, and then round off at the end. Yeah, so 32 meters in stopping distance. Okay, so actually, yung problem nato at yung problem ng breaking is actually the same. Kasi kung dito yung problem ay crates, tapos the floor is accelerating backwards. Isipin mo kung ano. So, stopping so, same problem. Stopping distance of a car. So, let's uh, let's see what happens. And, so, ang gusto kong gawin mo ngayon, kaya, check ko yung problem na. Alam, alam ko na dito rin yun eh. Yung... Ne, so, I think, kung wala. Sige, ganito na lang. So, what if, so, share ko yung screen ko. So, stopping distance. Of cars on level roads. Siyempre, Pag mountains, di ba, may nag-curve, nag up and down. So, mas mahirap yung calculation. So, we'll focus first on level roads. Tapos, you have a car. So, ito yung model natin. It's moving forward. 
initial speed v sub zero tapos yung coefficient of static friction sabi na it's assume na natin 0.7 para mas safe tapos ang coefficient of kinetic friction is 0.4 So, parang ito po yung parang black ice problem. Ngayon, gusto kong i-compute mo. Di ano? Yung parang black ice. Kung may ice po, parang ganun din po. Yung stopping distance versus yung dry room. Ah. Uh, so, it's actually the same problem kasi, okay, if you're driving a car, ano ba yung, what is actually stopping the car? What's stopping? Kasi nag-brake ka. Any forces acting on the car para mag-stop yung car? Mm, the road is stopping the... Ah, oh, wala mo. The tires oh, will so, stop. Okay, so... Hindi, pero di ba the tires are still part of the car? No, bro. So, kung iisipin mo na isang buong object yung car, tires and everything, ano yung outside force acting on the car to stop the car? Friction. Friction. From? From the road mo. From the road. Anong direction? Let's say the car is moving forward. Anong direction of friction? Direction of friction going, ano po siya, tawag doon? Direction of friction going, going forward yung car, going backward yung friction dapat. Ah, wait. Okay, pag nagbe-brake. Tama mo. Braking ah, hindi, so, pag yung car naman ay nag-accelerate, ano direction ng friction? Forward po kasi yung... So, speeding up, moving forward. So, the flow, ngayon this time, the ground is pushing the car forward so that the car will speed up. Pag nag-brake, the, the floor is, push, is pushing the car backwards. At tapos yung point of action, yung tires. Uh, complex kasi yung mga, ano, yung mga cars, yung mga may moving parts, may ano. pero kung yung model mo siya sa single system, ganun yung ano niya. Exter the only external force is friction. May weight, pag yung vertical components may weight tsaka merong normal force. Pero since we're only interested in horizontal motion, friction lang. That's the only thing that will stop the car. Ngayon, yung appropriate na value na gagamitin, 0.7 kapag hindi pa nagsiskid. 0.4 kapag nagsiskid. So, Let's say you're driving a car. Tapos, tinodo mo yung pag-press nyo sa brake. Anong mangyayari dun sa tires? Tinodo yung pag-press sa brake? Mm, Magano po bigla? Yung mag-skid po sila. Uh -huh. That's a kinetic friction mo. Yung okay, ganito. Older cars, alam mo kung ano ginagawa, kung ano nangyayari kapag sinagad may mga brakes? Gagawin na po, parang yung, para ano ba po, yung brake fluid na lang i-stop na talaga po yung, ano, tire. So, yung yung wheels, anong mangyayari? They will stop rolling, so para mag-skid na po sila. So, maglalak. Obo. Diba? Tapos mag-skid yun. Kaya yung ano, So, habang nagsa-stop, para, ma para mag-stop siya without skidding, the tires still have to be rolling forward. Kasi kailangan in, con in, in contact with the ground, no sliding. So, kailangan nag-roll forward pa rin yung ano. Pero, the tires are actually being pushed backwards by the ground. Kaya ano yun eh, yung mga older cars kailangan talaga marunong kong gumamit ng brakes na maayos. Kasi pag ganyan, may panic stop, let's say may biglang tumawid, tapos kailangan mong mag-brake. Pag mali yung braking mo, put brake too hard, magsiskid. You have to 
go forward na. Ang problema, pag nag-skid, ang nag apply yung 0.4, which means longer stopping distance. Nga po. So, um, gagawin muna natin, assume wal, ang, hindi ka nag-skid. Ano yung stopping distance? Tapos, same thing. What if nag-skid? Kasi hindi ka marunong magtimpla ng brakes. Sabi nga po, yun yung nakita nga po eh. So, kumbaga, if you're, if you're actually going to let the car move just a little, yung paparol na pa po yung ano, eh, there is actually, it will actually stop sooner than kung if you, if you talagang i-press na po talaga po yung brakes. Grabe pa, grabe pa lang nga po kung yung... Yeah, kasi mag kasi magsiskid eh. Okay, so gusto kong i-compute mo yung stopping distance S4. Ano may mga typical na speed limits? So, yung typical na speed limits ito. So, gawa tayo ng table. Gawa ka ng table. Yung speed limit for if you're riding a car on, let's say kapag school, dadaanan mo, ang speed limit is actually 20 kilometers per hour. Tapos, yung next na speed limit is, I think, for, kung susunod mo yung RA, yung Republic Act 4136. Kapag city driving, you should, be, you should not be driving faster than 40 kph. Ito yung, ito yung legit, no? Pero, may mga road signs na kasasabi, hindi, pwede kayong, you can, ang speed limit natin ay 60. So, ito yung mga... Tapos, sa, ano, sa expressway, may may kita kang speed limit na 80 kilometers per hour. Tapos, may mga, may mga drivers na nagda-drive sa expressway ng 120 kilometers per hour. 80 per 80 kilometers. 100 to 120. So, I'd like you to compute. So, tabulate. Stopping distances kapag nag-skid at kapag maximum braking ang ginawa niya. So kung ano po, yung right braking siya kayo nag-skid ano, nag, uh, na po siya. Both of them. Oo. Uh, actually, yung ano, yung ganitong, yung mga, more, yung mga mas modern ng mga kotse, meron sa tinatawag na anti, anti, yung ABS, anti- brake locking system siya eh. So, if you press too hard, ang gagawin niya, imo-moderate niya yung yung braking force para hindi ka nag, mag-maximum. Na, para hindi mag-lock. So, pag nag-panic ka, hindi, may ano, may, sa- may margin of safety ka pa rin. Pero older cars, less forgiving sila kasi ganyan yung ano nila eh. Wala silang ABS eh. Paradoxically, mas maraming accidents yung mga nag ABS <laughs> Kasi, yeah, may, say, may psychological impact eh. Okay, so ito. So, stopping distances, assuming static friction, and pag kinetic friction. So, distances in, stopping distances in meters. Let's make a table. Meron na tayong kinalculate dito eh. ba? Diba? Mu, V. So, ang A is, is e, so, assume natin A is equal to mu S. So, cop, let's just copy this. Kasi same, same analysis yan eh. less than or equal to mu sg. Kapag, tapos, copyin rin natin yung stopping distance equation, which is uh, d is equal to v squared over 2a. Tapos, mag-tabulate ang stopping distance. Baka, so ito yung mga values, no? Kaya, ulong, ulong ko to pa ba? Or ulong natin, 
Yeah. Okay, spreadsheet. Use a spreadsheet. <laughs> Kasi madami yan eh. So, gawa tayo ng formula. Tapos nun, mag-compare tayo. So, so, first, yung mga stopping, yung ano. Okay, uh-huh. ito. So, yung isa. Uh, tapos, yung... So, yung mga cases na kailangan consider ay what if acceleration is mu sg? Tapos, what if the acceleration is mu kg? Tapos, ito yung values ng mu. 0.7.4 Okay, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 120 Sa- Sama natin 100 So V is equal to in kilometers per hour 20, 40 60 80 100 120. Tapos, ito in meters per second. Uh, K- KPH pala. And then we have to convert. V in meters per second is... times 1,000 over 3,600. And then okay, stopping distance is So, mu, skid, no skid, and then skid, the stopping distance. So, V square Bawat mong gumamit ng formula? Or... Ne, gamit ka ng formula sa ano? Sa, sa spreadsheet. Sige mo. Over. Oh. Over 2A. A is equal to mu SG. Mu KG. Times point seven times. Ayan, sorry, hindi pa skid no skid yung values yun, no? That's wet and dry pala yun. So that's twenty ano po na twenty forty sixty sixty eighty. Samum na yung one hundred. Kasi spreadsheet naman eh. So, madali na i-compute yan. So, ano yung stopping distances? So, 2 times So, dry and wet. Okay. 
4. So gusto na so gusto na natin compare yung stopping distances kapag wet and dry. So dry is 0.4, ay 0.7. Oh, tapos pag wet yung surface, 0.4. Huh? So... D is equal to... So, Wait a Six. Ay, Oh my gosh! Uh, ano niyabe? Na close yung sir na with nawa. Sana may ba. Okay. Okay. Talagang inanaw po talaga na uh, divine justice on me. So, so ino sponsor na so wala lahat. Okay. So sa so nang ano? <laughs> what happened? Open na po ako na ano? Sa pang pressure na hindi, sana mag-close. Usually, may nakasave yan na ano eh, na may backup eh. Pag binuksan mo, tapos sabihin na open, ganyan, may, may prompt siya eh. Kapag na-close mo accidentally without saving. Wala po siyang prompt eh. Yun lang eh, lalabas na po siya. Aha. Uh -huh. It's over, okay. So, sana ko may meron man siyang backup. Hanap ko lang po siya sa files. Okay, so... Sige. Yeah. Share ko na po yung ulan na. So, basta nawala lahat po. So, I will just make another. Bakit ganyan po yan? Ayan. Ano ka libre office ko pala? I do okay. not have... I'm, uh, I'm poor. So save ko na lang yun ano, save ko rin yung um, libre 
office nga nila. Opo. So, pwede kong is- save in kung hindi mabuksan mo dyan. So, this is kinetic. Okay. Today, I uh, 23, 10, 28. Stopping distance. Okay. Gawa ka ng bagong ng isa pang egg to convert yung speed to meters per second. Speed to meters per second. Kasi pag uh, insert a new column. I'm just going to Tapos, gawa ka ng formula. So, equal to? 20. Ayan na, formula. Ano mo conversion? Parang conversion na lang mo. Hindi. I-dimension mo. I-compute mo na lang. So, kaya, kaya, gawa ka ng, ng custom formula. So, cancel. Cancel na. So, instead, type equals was na ba? So, so to make a formula tapos ang ano natin yung b uh, a1 a2 uh, a asterisk times 1 times ano ba? Uh, divided 1000 1, times 1000 1, divided by 3600 Enter. Tapos on drag down na lang. So select. Hindi. Select. Tapos on. Ah, uh, hindi. The way to drag down is select. Tapos yung right, lower right hand corner. Cell. Yan. Click. And then pull. Yan. So, para medyo it's uh, pretty susi. Kaya ako sasayang mabilis yan kasi. Di ba? Kasi isang formula lang and then you can drag down. So, Jan equals. This Ngayon, is... how, do, how can you compute? Well, let me speed in meters per second. So, V square. So, square. open parenthesis. Over. Tapos on. Uh, over. Clo- uh, close parenthesis. Uh, na close no. Over. Open parenthesis. Um, mu seven, um, mu dry, point seven. So times. divide by over. Mm-hmm. Times G. Five point seven. Ano ba ni? Wala na po ni square. Yun na times. Po. Tapos may two, may two di ba? Okay. So tega. Tignan mo yung formula. V squared over two A is equal to D. So that may two jan. Two times point seven. Times 9.8. Ah, no. A, okay, and then enter and then drag down. B2. Uh-huh. Copy. Ay. And then... Right now, it's 0.4. Yeah. Point four. Yeah. Isend kun say yung yung result. Pero you may more dapat na value for for example distance is about pag stopping distance mga three meters two point two meters yen. Wet uh, wet stopping distance is about about four. Pag forty 8 me- 9 meters yung dry, di ba? Wet oh. is 15. Ah, it gets ra- worse kapag baka rounding kapag error. Kapag bumibilis ba? yung initial speed. Dabo. 
Yeah, ito yung layo. So kapag naka 80 kilometers per hour, 60 meters na yan eh. Di ba? May mahaba yan. Lobo. Tapos, add the action times. Good luck. Tsaka Kaya yung mga ano, nagsispeed na drivers. Lobo. Ano yan eh? Sa Germany, kasama yan, kasama tong computation ito sa driving exam nila. What? Wow. Anyway, we'll just continue on Thursday. So, calculus ulit tayo. And then we'll continue talking about this on Sunday next week.